In this video, I'm going to show how to simplify radicals with these four problems. First problem is find the cube root of 320 x to the 14th, y to the 17th, z to the 20th. So when I'm trying to find the cube root, I should think of my cubic numbers. The cubic numbers, the first four cubic numbers would be 1, 8, 27, and 64. So I'm going to think, is any of those, can I divide into 320? 64 can be divided into 320. So if I did the cube root, cube root of 64 times the cube root of 5, that gives me 320. So the cube root of 64 is 4. And then I have the cube root of 5 left over. I can't break that down. Now I have a cube root of x to the 14th. So a quick way of solving this is taking our exponent and dividing it by the index. And why? Because I need groups of 3 to make it a cubic root. So how many groups of 3 can I get out of 14? I can get 4 groups of 3. So that means I'm going to have an x to the 4th on the outside. Now if I did 3 times 4 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. So I'm going to have an x squared left on the inside. The cube root of y to the 17th. So how many groups of 3 can I get out of 17? That would be 5. So that would give me y to the 5th. 3 times 5 is 15. 17 minus 15 is 2. So that means I have a y squared left on the inside. And then z to the 20th. How many groups of 3 can I get out of 20? That would be 6. So that would be z to the 6th. 6 times 3 is 18. 20 minus 18 would give us 2. So I would have z squared on the inside. So that would be my solution or my simplified form for that radical. The next example, the cube root of 45k to the 4th m to the 10th times the cube root of 32 k to the 7th m to the 3rd. So I'm going to simplify here both radicals and then multiply them too. You could multiply first and then simplify. I'm just going to keep the numbers a little bit smaller. So I think my cubic numbers, cubic numbers again here would be 1, 8, uh, 27, 64. For 45, I don't have any cubic numbers there. So I'm just going to keep that as the cubic root of 45. But I can have the cubic root of k to the fourth. How many times can 3 go into 4? 3 can go into 4 one time. So I'm going to have a k on the outside. That means I have the cube root. I have a cube root of 45, and I'm going to have a k left on the inside. The cube root of m to the 10th. How many groups of 3 can I get out of 10? That would be 3. So I'm going to have m cubed. And then I have, so m cubed, so 3 times 3 is 9. 10 minus 9 is 1. So I'm going to have 1 left inside there. And I'm going to multiply that by the cube root of 32. So the cubic number I can divide into there would be 8. And the cube root of 8 is 2. So I'm going to put a 2 on the outside. And I have a cube root. So 8 times 4. So that means I'm going to have a 4, cube root of 4 on the inside. Cube root of k to the 7. How many groups of 3 can I get into 7? That would be 2. So that is k squared. That means 3 times 2 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. So I have 1k left inside. The cube root of m cubed. Well, the cube root undoes a, something, a base raised to the third power. So that means I'm just going to have m 
left on the outside. Now I can multiply my two answers right now. So I'm going to have a 2 m to the fourth, because remember when I multiply like bases, I add the exponents. k times k squared is k to the third. And then I have the third root of 45 times 4 would give us uh, 4 times 5 is 20, so carry the 2. 4 times 4 is 16, plus the 2 is 18, so 180. So I'm going to put 180 up here. And I got to think, is there any cubic number that I can divide into that Since I can't find any number that I can, that's a cubic number I can divide out of 180, I'm going to keep that as 180. And on the inside, I have a k squared. And I have an m. So this would be my final answer. Next, the cubic root of 48 a to the seventh divided by 125 b to the set b to the ninth so i'm going to rewrite this as the cube root of 48 a to the seventh divided by the cube root of 125 b to the ninth now think of cubic numbers so i have eight i know eight goes into 48 and the cube root of eight is two so I'm going to have 2. That means I have a cube root of 6 left over. A to the 7th. How many groups of 3 can I get out of 7? That would be 2 groups. That means I have an A left over inside. And that would be A squared on the outside. The denominator, the cube root of 125 is 5. The cube root of B to the 9th, 9 divided by 3 is b to the third. So my answer would be 2a squared, the cube root of 6a, divided by 5b cubed. And the last one, just distributing, 6 times 9 is 54. The square root of 6 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 12. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. Square root of 6 times 12 is 72. So think perfect squares. Square root of 4 times square root of 3. Square root of 4 is 2. 54 times 2 would be 108. So I got 108 square root of 3 minus square root of 72 is the square root of 9 times the square root of, actually, do the square root of 36 times the square root of 2. The square root of 6 is 36 is 6. 6 times 30 is 180 square root of 2. I don't have like terms or like radicals, so I can't subtract them. So my answer would be 108 square root of 3 minus 180 square root of 2.